Hello, everyone, and welcome to Different Stages Radio. I'm your host, JJ, broadcasting from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And we have something very special for you today. Uh, you may know my next guest from such bands as Flybanger and Hell Chamber, but most notably, you know him from the band Jar, who are going to be doing a one-off special performance as part of Buster Fest in Vancouver at the Rickshaw Theater on July 27th in honoring legendary music business manager icon in Vancouver, Clyde Hill. Please welcome my guest, Garth Allen. How are you? Hey, JJ, how you doing? I'm doing, doing well, well good man. As, good to see you. Thanks for making the time. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Good yes, we got, we got something really special happening in Vancouver, July 27th at the Rickshaw Theater. For those listening yep. around the province, around the country, worldwide, who may not know Clyde Hill, who may not know you and what JAR, how significant this is, that the members of JAR are getting together for the first time in 4,000 years to do something for Clyde. So if you can explain what JAR means to Clyde, what Clyde means to JAR, and to try to explain this to people, how significant all of this really, truly is. Well, um, without, I guess, going through the whole history, um, so the band JAR um, formed in the mid nineties and um, you know, independent band. And during that time, as you well know, in Vancouver, I was pretty thriving with uh, some up and coming bands and um, you know, to name a few, there was, I always hate doing this cause I always miss so many and I won't rattle them all off, but you had, you know, you had JAR, you had noise therapy, you had, um, you had Nickelback, you had Minority, you had, um, you know, Process, you had um, so many bands um, that were just um, making things happen. And Clyde and uh, and Terry, um, his partner, so Clyde Hill, they had a company called AMR Management. And AMR Management um, managed us and noise therapy and Gladys patches and they uh, also manage Nickelback. And I mean, there's just a whole bunch of other bands that, uh, that they had. So as far as what they did for us and other bands is, um, you know, honestly, they got us to the point where we got signed to major labels. Um, a lot of us and uh, you know, and also continue beyond that. But um the essence of of what happened, and especially for for Clyde Hill, is his belief in us, his belief in what we could do, is that's what catapults any band. You know, when they get into um, you listen to any podcast with bands or interviews and stuff, and, and they talk about managers or people they work with, and you know, of course, the person has to know what they're doing you know, business wise and nuts and bolts. But at the end of the day, you need to have a, a coach or, or, or someone that is really um, pushing you through the tough times. And, uh, you know, the old cliche of uh, touring in an old beat up white van with a trailer and going, doing the Star of David tour uh, is true for a lot of bands in um, that went through AMR and, and even like some of the other bands that I mentioned that didn't get managed by uh, uh, AMR directly, but probably, you know, did some shows through them. Uh, a lot of us, um, we did those tours and um, you know, there's some people in those bands and, and, you know, myself included that are still in local bands and we've, we, we still even, you know, recently as last few years have worked with Clyde Um when you uh, when you see Clyde uh, in action, I mean, he's he's just the type of guy that he likes to be right in the mix of things. He's hanging out. He's he's down at every show. Um, you know, the old joke. He's making sure that he's you know he's, he's looking at your wallet to see how fat it is because he wants to take it. Um, but you know, he is the essence of somebody. And and don't get me wrong. I mean, our experience with Amar and then Devo and Clyde was, was just Clyde. Um, it wasn't all roses. We had our ups and downs. 
um, and all these things. But at the end of the day, uh, in the last, you know, say 10 years or whatever, um, you know, we're all buds again. And uh, we, you know, we support him and, and he still supports what we do. I mean, in my, uh, my other current band called The Thick of It, um, you know, we booked through some shows through him in the last years and, you know, he, he's always involved and um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it's, it's, it'd be so hard to kind of wrap up everything that's happened with him in the scene, but he never gave up. You know what I mean? He's still the guy that will find a band that is, you know, if he sees that you just are trying and, and, you know, and, and he comes and checks you out and he wants to see how you're how tight you are and how's your backup vocals and is there potential and, and he'll, he wants to, he wants to uh, move you up the mountain, you know, and the whole jar thing was, um, you know, for this show, it's pretty exciting. We did, um, we did do a reunion a few years back at, uh, And we had uh, Russ Berkowitz on bass, who's amazing guy, amazing bass player. And he, he's got ties with Rob and I because Russ played with Rob and Alex in Touch the Sun, as you all know. Yep. And um, so um, that I call that one, that was called the Rejar, which is like uh, that version of, you know, we got back together and did some songs and did some recordings. But this one is uh, it's 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 special because uh, you know we we'd always kind of wondered what it'd be like to play with Tommy again uh, in the band and um, you know Weasel Gorse was in the last re, re you know rendition <laughs> I'm not finding fine the right words here you know yeah, yeah, version yeah. we'll call it yeah. of Jar and and so he was uh, you know obviously first choice to ask to do this and uh and he accepted so um it's cool you know we, we don't we don't have um all the original members but uh you know um it, it's all good because we got wheezy in there and um and tommy's in there and and we've already had some rehearsals and and it sounded really good so um you know we're looking forward to playing a wicked show and just uh honoring clyde you know because uh he's for without going into a ton of detail he's you know medically physically he's not in great shape right now and um you know we want to uh we want to do something for him so and that's kind of putting it lightly you don't want to make it more brutal sounding than it is but it it is pretty rough like we're, we're all pulling for clyde of course but this this is being put together because it's it's pretty 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 significant what's going on yeah um yeah, yeah not without, yeah, and, you know yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, just to mention what happened, what did happen is uh, Tommy actually approached us first because he he had been talking to Clyde um, quite a bit because uh, Tommy's got other projects and stuff too. So, um, and then he you know he found out what was happening, and then he he approached us to um, get this together and uh, and do the show. So, uh, just it just went from there, you know. Uh, yeah, myself and. Rob and Weezy, we also, uh, we have a project called GWR, which is Garth Weasel Rob. And we have a, a video called The Deep End, which is out. And we're working on uh, another video to have out pretty soon. So, um, yeah, you know, we got uh, got some other things uh, going on as well. But uh, we are 100% uh, focused and geared up for uh, for this show. And we're uh, we're really looking forward to it. So yeah, and and I'll throw in just for people who also maybe not know don't know Clyde as say well as you do, or I, I think I know him pretty well as well. That he, he's significant to the Lower Mainland of British Columbia and the province as far as him really busting his ass over the past thirty years, I'd say in particular in the region, really championing so many bands and getting them, like you said, to that next level and getting them opportunities they may not have ever otherwise had. And it's nice to kind of pay it forward in this respect. You just hope it was under better circumstances. But all things considered, I think it's going to be an extremely special night. So to I, I'll, I'll put it bluntly: like the goal, the goal and plan for that night is to raise funds for Clyde, who's been having a really brutal last number of months. So anything that can hopefully make his life a bit more manageable would be, I think, yeah. awesome. 
So can't stress enough that all the proceeds from this show, 100,000% of these proceeds are going directly into Clyde's hopefully expanding wallet. <laughs> hopefully he has the fat wallet this time. Yeah. And, um, I was also, I know by the time that this interview is out there, that there's also a way for those who can't go to the show, that there's still a way that you can donate and make a contribution through the, um, the event page and the busterfest.com site on how you can support Clyde directly. Because yeah, there's yeah. many people that I think have already have some summer vacation plans in place that it's like, Oh damn, I'd, I'd really like to go support that, but I'm, kinda, yeah. I'm kind of, kind of strapped. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, thanks for saying that JJ. And, and obviously this was, I don't want to say, you know, last minute it was, it was planned, but, um you know securing a date and just just getting everything together so um you know yeah not not everybody's going to be able to go and um you know the rickshaw has been great um they're they're helping us out you know they they got us a date to uh to use and uh you're right after, after we um you know after we uh take care of uh, any any you know just um sort of regular expenses or whatever for the show. Um, all, all the money's going to go to Clyde and or his family. Um, and uh, yeah. And then as, as far as, um, you know, so I can, I had a list of courses. I don't have any more, but because we changed the date, like today we were supposed to announce, it was supposed to be announced. Like right now you and I talk and it's, it's June 26. Yeah. Um, so the, the show will be announced um, tomorrow like mm -hmm. officially uh, we put out sort of the, the teaser stuff and then uh, there will be a website for, uh, for tickets um, that information will be coming as well. And we will have hard tickets uh, to sell as well. So um, that's all, that's all coming like really soon. Right away. And I'm pretty so, certain yeah. that busterfest.com is the place to go for tickets and for donations and any sort of contributions that anybody can make. Yeah to help out Clyde. Now also where there's going to be, I know it's, there's still some finalizing of the bill that's still happening. There's some special guests. So forth. We're, we're looking at having some guys from, can we, can we say stuff? Well, yeah, <laughs> we're still working on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been that kind of a, a, of a show. It's been, you know, um, in, in all fairness to, uh, to Tom and anyone else who's been, um, uh, you know, involved in the nuts and bolts of this thing, the logistics. Um, so what I do know is that we have uh, OCDC, who's a ACDC cover man. Mm -hmm. uh, members of Noise Therapy um, are uh, supposed to come up and do some stuff. Uh, hasn't been confirmed, but I'm I'm pretty sure I can say yes on that. <laughs> um we're going to have a guest come up and play during, during our set and do a song, but I'm not, I'm that's, I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. A bit of a surprise. Um, and that's, that's where we're at with, uh, with that. And then there, I believe there's going to be um, uh, another opening band, like a local band uh, on that bill as well, but that all should be laid out and, uh, and confirmed when they when we do the show announcement. Perfect. So it's, you know, a couple pieces like that, that, you know, that was the tough part. Like you said, you know, with uh, summer coming and, you know, people, there's other bands that are uh, maybe they're touring or they have commitments and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a fishing expedition to, to nail some people down, but you know, that's, that's the kind of gig it is, you know, we're, we're well, exactly. Just, uh, and, that, and that's why it's still great that the, the show is being designed in such a way with the donation aspect of it, that if you can't make the show, you can still contribute and help Clyde. Obviously we want yeah. to pull the people, but the, the end game is to help Clyde and yeah, people can still exactly. do that even if they can't be there physically in person. So that's huge. So by the time that this video is out, which I'll have out from a couple of days within the time that this has been recorded. So all the information is out there with hopefully a couple more surprises in the back pocket. Tickets can be yeah. available and found through uh, busterfest.com. I'll also have them set up through different stages, radio.com. And there will also be links through the Rickshaw theater, uh, Facebook and website. I uh, want to also thank um, Mile from the invisible orange. He's also helping out with um, cool. the show as well as, Mike Johnston, of course, from My Killing. Yep. 
yeah. productions and um yeah and Mikey Rickshaw. Yeah, good kid. And anything else you want to throw in quickly? We good? Ah, uh, um yeah, I just um I guess I just want to say, you know, when we're when you put something like this together, um the the festival not festival, the uh, fundraiser part aside, the band itself, Jar um us getting together you know um you wonder sometimes what's going to happen you know like you haven't played like i mean us us and tommy haven't played together for you know a few years and you get back in the room and um you start playing and you know um i guess the energy just starts coming back you know and uh, i'm looking forward i'm looking forward to just uh, being able to perform these songs again, you know, with these guys, with this lineup and, uh, and just crush it and just have fun. You know, um, we're not doing this to be rock stars or whatever anymore, or whatever we're doing. We're doing this, a, we're doing this for a, a good cause, but to get on stage and perform, we are doing this to, uh, to just, you know, to deliver it again as, as, I mean, we're not 30 anymore, but we're, we're still capable and we're going to, uh, we're going to prove that, you know, so and everybody, yeah. everybody's hearts in the right place with all of the best of intentions. And I'm sure it's going to be a magnificent and emotional evening, July 27th at the rickshaw theater in Vancouver. Yeah. I'd like to thank my guest today, Garth Allen from jar. Thank you, JJ. Thanks for having right. me, buddy. We will see you in a, in a month's time. We'll see you soon. Yes. Thank you. Be well. Take, take care, bud. Okay.